Shah Jalal is a prominent figure in the history of Bangladesh. He was born in the late 13th century, and it is widely disputed whether he was born in Yemen or Konya, Turkey, as there is a gap of two centuries between his life and literature which attempted to identify his origin. Nevertheless, Shah Jalal is widely recognized as a preacher, Islamic scholar, and military leader who played a significant role in spreading Islam in the region of Silet, which is now a division of Bangladesh. Silet was predominantly Buddhist and Hindu before the conquest of Silet. According to historical accounts, Shah Jalal traveled to India with a group of 360 disciples to propagate Islam. He arrived in Silet around the early 14th century. There, he established a spiritual center and worked towards the spreading of Islamic teachings. Shah Jalal is renowned for his spiritual influence and military campaigns. It is believed that his spiritual power and military strategies contributed to several victories against local rulers and their forces. One of his most notable victories was the Battle of Shandanaki, where he defeated the Hindu king Gur Govinda. In 1303, Sultan Shams, Udin Firoz Shah of Laknati, was engaged in a war with the neighboring Gur kingdom in the Silit region, then under the rule of the Hindu king Gur Govinda. This battle began when a Muslim man living in Silet sacrificed a cow for his newborn son's Akikar birth celebration. Govinda, in a fury for what he saw as sacrilege, had the newborn killed as well as having the Muslim man's right hand cut off. Three successive strikes were attempted, all ending in failure due to the Bengali army's inexperience as well as Govinda's superior military strategy. A fourth attack, now with the aid of Shah Jalal and his companions, was undertaken. The combined Muslim forces ultimately claimed victory against Gur Govinda, and he was forced to retreat and Silit was brought under Muslim control. Following the battle, Jalal and his followers settled in Silit. During the later stages of his life, Jalal devoted himself to propagating Islam. The famous traveler Ibn Battuta, then in India, made a one-month journey through the mountains of Kamarupa, northeast of Silit, to meet him. On his way to Silat, Ibn Battuta was greeted by several of Jalal's disciples who had come to assist him on his journey many days before he had arrived. At the meeting in 1345, Ibn Battuta noted that Shah Jalal was tall and lean, fair in complexion, and lived by the mosque in a cave where his only item of value was a goat he kept for milk, butter, and yogurt. He observed that the companions of Shah Jalal were foreign and known for their strength and bravery. He also mentions that many people would visit Jalal to seek guidance. The meeting between Ibn Battuta and Shah Jalal is described in his Arabic travelogue. Shah Jalal's influence and teachings led to the conversion of many people to Islam, expanding the religion's reach in the region. Shah Jalal was laid to rest in 1346, aged 74, in Silat, Bangladesh. Unfortunately, there are some uneducated people today who visit his shrine to worship and make supplications to him, which is completely forbidden and a major sin in Islam. Shah Jalal's teachings and legacy continue to have a significant impact on the cultural and religious fabric of the region, as Bangladesh now has a population of over 150 million Muslims, making up over 90% of the population.